Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody. Let's take a look again the euro currency. So yesterday it was dramatic action across the board, not only on the euro currency, but also in the coal market, on the stocks, everywhere. And uh, actually, guys, nobody knows what has happened. Even the big banks and big companies, traders, tells that this was absolutely uh, unexpected reversal. And currently it is not clear yet what the background of this reversal was. Because the initial reaction was absolutely correct, because CPI was above the expectation. And if you will take a look in the structure of the CPI, we will take a look in the vehicle report, you will see the rising inflation across the board. Not only in the energy sector, but it starts to spreading across the board and rising in uh, some common things such, such as uh, food and other stuff. And uh, downside reaction is absolutely reasonable. Why? It's just because interest rates stands on 3.5%, so we're coming to the more rate hiking. But inflation, as it was here, as it is here, so it is not disappearing and even rising. That's what we have in the CPI, that's what we have in the PPI numbers. Um, so, and the collapse that has happened recently is absolutely reasonable, especially if we'll take a look in the gold market. It was even more. Uh, extended and the furious compares to the euro but then suddenly everything has changed and uh, what is interesting it is not some market specific reversal some news on the stock markets for example i don't know reports earnings reports from the banks or something it was across the board so all markets has turned in opposite direction no additional data has been released it's definitely stands some big cash inflow because if you'll take a look even on the common sites, I, I, I uh, in, intentionally have taken a look at some. So take a look what is the BMO capital tells. Signs of the distressed market, freaking out over a mild miss on the data point. Reversal of the dollar is a shock. Super jittery market. So they do not know really what has happened. What's the background of this reversal? And that's why it might be tricky. I have just one idea that maybe recall what we talked about the pre-election rally. So maybe this is some artificial support of the market to create the Im Im image of uh, prosperity, of the resolving of the problems, so uh, that everything is becoming better, markets are rising and so on before the elections. It's very often happens. I would say that even always happens. So uh, that's why this sharp reversal, it might be really tricky moment because the support distance behind it, beyond it, it might disappear as fast as it has appeared. So that's why we should be careful. From the technical point of view, action was absolutely perfect. On the daily chart, we've got bullish reversal bar. It means that for the bulls, now the task is much simpler. It's just because you could use the most resting swing through this bar for position taking and placing the stop just below its lows. That's all. So from that standpoint, it's where everything's clear. Trend has turned bullish on the daily chart, which is technically also important factor. Now, if you take a look at the intraday performance, you will see that market just completed what we have talked about. So we said, wait for a completion of the XLP. Only after that, we intend to keep an eye on some bullish patterns or something. And uh, after that, market could show some bounce. Yes, yesterday we said that uh, Current situation is tricky. We suggest with this rising of the bearish dynamic pressure here, that should be some spike, either direct downside breakout or it will be just spike down to complete the XOP in creating the new lows. So dynamic pressure has worked nice and it was indeed just the spike to complete the XOP, but it was just spike because of the intruding of the external, some power that has pushed price higher. So uh, currently, with this performance, we not consider taking the short position on the euro currency because we have the bull trend no time frames. On the daily chart, we have reversal bar. So for the bears have to wait for something else. For the bulls, as I said, you could use the most resting upper direction because this is actually reversal candle. On the daily chart, using for the support areas, 
to consider taking position with the stops below these lows. So that's classical approach for trading on the current situation. Currently, market hits the 50% resistance of the whole downside action. And it's also, as you can see, the upper border of our flag pattern. Here as it was just breaking down. Um, probably we could use some kind of the widening triangle here. This might be broken up. Uh, maybe you could treat it in this way. Currently, it's my minor pullback somewhere to the 97.40. This might be interesting, 97. There's two levels that you could consider if you would like to take the long position. So that's actually what we have on your currency. But currently, guys, I am a bit worried about the uh, driving power that stands behind this recent rally. It's uh, most uh, dangerous stuff is that nobody understands what, what has happened. So we will see.